good morning. I was just working on the Happy Dance Project. Hank, I'm in New York City and I'm not gonna lie to you, I've had a long day. There's been a lot of eating and drinking and just general merriment. I have the oddest sensation that I'm being looked at. Well, hello there, Sweet Scarlet. Look, Hank, it's Maureen Johnson's new book, Sweet Scarlet, except instead of being in book form, it's in gigantic poster form. Anyway, Hank, there was a lot of eating and drinking, and I'm feeling really overstuffed. But, you know, in life you have to have moral principles which guide you, and one of my moral principles has always been that when people want to buy me stuff, I want to let them. I believe that's what they call the Christmas spirit. Hank, I'm in New York meeting with people about paper towns, and one of those people is, of course, my brilliant editor, Julie Strauss-Gable. Hello, Hank. Check it out, Hank. Julie has a view of the Statue of Liberty from her office. And at the end of the day, you know what Julie did, Hank? She sent you a copy of Paper Towns! I hope you like it. And Hank, guess who's here? That's right, it's Maureen Johnson! Who? Hi, Hank. Let me ask you a serious question, Maureen. Yeah. As, as one of the most popular authors for teenagers in America, yeah. who do you like more, me or Hank? Hank. It's funny because it's true. It is true, actually. <laughs> Hank, what can I say? The teen authors of America love you. But as I always remind myself, it's not a competition. Because if it were a competition, I'd lose. By the way, Hank, do you know that Maureen Johnson went to my pants? <laughs> it's still funny. It's funny after eight months. It's still funny. It's still funny. It's as funny as the morning it was born. But anyway, Maureen started a thread in my pants called, If you had John Green on your couch for a night, what would you do? The answers? Frankly disturbing. Except for secret brother Tom, who proposed putting a ferret inside my pillowcase. By the way, Hank, I want to thank all the nerd fighters for helping me pick out names for my hypothetical puppy. My favorites included Rana Valona, Chomsky the Nerd Fighting Puppy, Woot Poner, Optimus Prime, and Johnny Fun Times. But Hank, the doubtless winner has to be Norbert Wiener the Puppy. Hank, with a name like Norbert Wiener, my hypothetical puppy will be the nerd fighterliest hypothetical puppy of them all. Stop looking at me! Hank, since the rebirth of Question Tuesdays went so well, I've decided I'm gonna do it again. So nerd fighters, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer in my Tuesday video, leave them down there. Hank, have fun reading Paper Towns, and I'll see you on Monday.